Yesterday we had huge breaking news in the AI sector as we learned that PAL could be joining Team ASI. That's right, PAL could be joining the likes of Fetch AI, Singularity Net and Ocean Protocol to be part of the artificial super intelligence alliance this news definitely caught a lot of people by surprise so in today's video i'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know and i'll also share my opinion on the matter so many people will have first heard about this potential merger because of the tweet or article that was released by the official asi page the bulk of the article is actually touching on the fundamental value of this merger and quotes from important people However, for investors, I do think that paragraph two gives the most information. Carl's potential integration represents a leap forward in the Alliance's mission to build a decentralized AI ecosystem and drive the development of artificial general intelligence and also, of course, artificial superintelligence. Community voting is scheduled to begin on November 18th and will close on November 23rd. The big question at this point is who will actually be eligible to vote? Will it be the FET or ASI holders? Will it be the PAL holders or will it be both? And if we scroll down past all of the bullshit quotes, we actually find more information about what this actually means for PAL holders. So the FET token supply is just over 2.7 billion and this is what we discussed in last week's price prediction but it is of course due to change again. PAL's token supply is at 1 billion tokens and because of this the teams have concluded that the merger rate will be at 6.24 PAL for every one FET. Now, when you actually take into consideration the token merge fee of 5% and the staking contribution, the conversion rate actually works out at 7 PAL equaling 1 FET. This is worked out at an average price over a 30 day window, leaving ASI at $1.56 and PAL at 0 0.25. Because of this merger, the FET total supply will again increase by just over 160 million tokens but PAL holders will actually be locked up for six months once the token has been merged. Now, I think it's fair to say that the majority of PAL holders are pretty annoyed at this news. And I think what is the icing on the cake here is the fact that they have to pay a 5% fee for the merger and their tokens will be locked for 180 days. And if we actually look at replies to the tweets from the FET team, from ASI and from PAL, we can clearly see what the community thinks. The other big telltale sign is that the PAL price actually dropped a whole 70% in the space of a couple of hours. And it seems that it also wasn't a good look for FET or ASI either, with many of their community members being pretty annoyed about the news. I mean, just like many other people out there, myself included, I did think that this merger, this ASI alliance would be just the three projects initially involved, but it seems that I actually missed that a fourth had already been added with kudos that I had absolutely no idea about. Maybe I should be paying more attention, that's my bad. But the point here is, they're trying to add PAL, this would be the fifth member of this alliance. And where is it gonna stop? Every time they add a new project, the token supply is going to increase, and ultimately many people will be wondering if this limits the upside potential from an investor's perspective. So now to wrap this one up, I will give a quick summary of my thoughts at this point but one thing to keep in mind is that this merger has not been accepted yet the community have not voted and there is a chance that it doesn't go ahead so i believe that many pal holders which i am not for the record are going to be annoyed because they probably thought they had a gem here in the ai sector the market cap roughly around the 250 million dollar mark had a lot of upside potential especially for those who bought at much lower prices. But now they are being forced to hold a different token, a token that they didn't opt to buy at a market cap of around 3.7 billion, which again, you could easily argue doesn't have the same upside potential for this cycle. And on the other side for FET holders, which I am, I think a lot of them are probably looking at this from two different perspectives. 
Number one, from a fundamental standpoint, you could argue that the project gets stronger with every merger that goes ahead. But I think that is looking at this project with a much longer outlook, maybe 5, 10, 15 years. Maybe these big moves can help them compete, not just with the biggest AI projects in crypto, but with AI projects in Web2. But for those investors, and this is a big but, for those investors who are playing crypto cycle by cycle and looking for the best upside investments, every time a merger goes ahead and that token amount increases, the market cap increases, the potential upside decreases in the process for the short to midterm at least. And this is something that a lot of FET holders are going to be thinking about. I'll be honest, I do have to reconsider my FET position at this point. I'll be waiting for more information around this merger to see what happens. But I can clearly see that a lot of community members, both from PAL and from FET, are not happy. And this is something that I have to take into consideration to figure out what I do next. All I can say at this point is subscribe to the channel and I will keep you guys posted on my decision and I'll also share any other relevant updates about this merger in real time so you guys know exactly what's going on. If you did enjoy the video, do drop a like. Again, please do subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and I'll catch you in the next one.